As has already been mentioned, though, the last two matches have been very, very close. Karin Wilson actually was you, and five one in front frame. against Ronnie in the Shanghai Masters and lost six five. And they've had another 10 9 where Ronnie O'Sullivan won the Champion of Champions. Both players in very good form. Already been mentioned that Karen Wilson earlier in the week had a 1 4 7. Wouldn't surprise me if there's a few high breaks in this game. Terry, I know you're a big fan of Karen, but he's, uh, you know, as, as you end up ever when you're playing against Ronnie, you've got to play well. Yes, yeah, quite right. Yeah. I watched him play in the Champion of Champions in Coventry and lost 10 9 to uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan, but. Uh, Different day today. One. He's a great long potter. Okay. Very dangerous. Six. Seven. Kieran's been coached uh, throughout his life with uh, Ian Barry Stark, who was a professional player and uh, um, a world snooker coach, excellent coach. They haven't been too well of late, but. Um, I'd like to see him coming down. If he, if Kyron does win this match, uh, he, he may come down for the final. Slightly Bolt. under hit then. He's going to have to just brush off the edge of the pack. I don't think he can get hold of the red to miss the pack. So if you're trying to hit this red to the left of the pack, half ball to come up for blue ball colour. Oh, he managed to screw back for the black. That's an excellent shot. 50. Very well played. I thought it was a little too thin to play that. What a great shot. It's early days, but um, if this was later on in the match, you'd have to suggest this is a great chance to get a really sizable lead in this, in the frame. But first frame, obviously, it's a little bit more difficult to settle. And against somebody like Ronnie O'Sullivan, you want to let him know you're in great form, which he's doing at the moment. 22. Played for two reds there, one Red. just above the black and one in the middle, so it looks from here the one in the middle is the best. Unless you can roll out red through for the black. So it's off for blue, I think. Oh! oh. And well, that was not a missable shot for him. That may knock him back a bit. Yes, absolutely. But if there is a good thing that's come from that, the Reds come round and put the black safe. And Pink is out of commission at the moment as well. Not too sure with the pink will pot in the left hand top pocket, but it's certainly not available in the three right hand pockets. That tells us obviously the pink is available in the left hand yep. corner. It'd be interesting to see how Ronnie works out a way of getting the black into play. Now the pink spot, the pink will go back at its own spot. I don't think then it will be spotable. It's a couple of inches off its spot at the moment. He may decide to leave the three-quarter ball red at the back of the pack there. At an angle to nudge that red away from the black very early. 
Oh, he's got the angle if he wants to do it, I think. Not quite. I think he did play to leave that angle. He's, he's finished a bit straight. Seven. Q power needed here, blue or green. Needs it to travel. Eight. Didn't play for it in this pocket, that's for sure. Having a look uh, if the reds uh, it could go in the centre pocket. But uh, where he is now is best. There you go. Another uh, easy red into the green pocket. 30. With Ron, he, he, he sees the shot straight away, doesn't he? Is, you know, he's, there's no messing about with it. Yes, he'd be a little bit disappointed he ever screwed that one, though. He'd probably play to leave a just off straight blue. And now he got to hope the red in the, on the left-hand side will just pass into the middle. Oh, he'd left a double. Very unusual. With the frames right. forward it is to play a double, but you must feel it's a certainty. And a certainty it was. Quentin. There's definitely a bit of mileage in breaking into the pack here off the yellow. I don't think any of the reds are possible. It needs to get that pink in play. The back red pots, of course, but you still have the same problem. Oh, dear. Ronnie so Ronnie's not 20. settled. Well, that's two of them now of uh, missing an easy shot. Oh, well, unless that was a kick, <laughs> it was a really bad shot. Ronnie would like to leave the white over the left-hand side of the table, but he can't get there. And the reason he's studying this now, because if he doesn't cover the red with the green and the blue, he knows that Kieran will take the long pot on. So surely he can play it thin and leave the white in the jaws of the green pocket. Oh, that's attacking safety shot. Yeah, he's thought, OK, I'm going to put myself in trouble, but at least the black's in play. Good pace of cue ball, but he may have left a shot to nothing. If he plays the pot, he won't kiss the black. And the cue ball will be going back towards the ball carrier, as long as he hits it not too thick. 
Beautiful shot. And played in such a way to stand a bought colour. Now, Kieran shouldn't have left that red, really. I mean, he played a, a poor safety early, got the white in a good place, but there was nothing to do with the cue ball there apart from play it plain ball. Well, he'd done well to part that, I must say. <laughs> After he, missing that easy red, he, well, it wasn't easy, but he was a long way from the pocket in the previous shot. I think these players just leave it go. Four. You're going to move. Make mistakes, that's for sure now. Five. <laughs> Beautifully played. He generated some spin there from a just off straight black. 30. He's going to need that last red as well, the one that's near the yellow. So at some stage, he'll be playing the pink into that red. May even play the red onto the red now, knowing that he's bound to be on the yellow or the blue. Interesting to see how he plays this 90. shot. No, decided to play for the red. Twenty. First glance, he hasn't played that very well. His, his body language tells us he's played it very poorly. Played to leave an angle to bring the reds into play. End of break. Twenty-six. Neil Sullivan, 26. Bit shorter pace there, he wanted to uh, cover that red with the brown. So it's giving Ronnie now a good chance to cover the reds. It's tough to get the cue ball back similar to where it is now because this red over the middle pocket will cut if you can see it. Obviously, Kieran can't see it on this uh, 
this shot, but Ronnie may be able to see it after the next safety shot. So it's not only missing the kiss on the yellow back into Borg, it's he's just going to rest up to this red. Looks like he's decided to just play at dead weight. Just a containing safety. Oh dear, what happened there? Foul. Nice. That must have rolled off. That's, I can't Very imagine awesome. he could play a shot oh. that poorly. That must have rolled off. So the excellent previous safety shot from Ronnie has given him another chance. Now he needs an angle this time on the pink to bring the reds into play. One. And once again, his body language is not looking good. But you can, this is just off straight, you can bounce this in and just flick the, the red. So he'll be playing stun run through, trying to create an angle. That's a good shot. Seven. Fifty. Okay, we're working very fast with that side cushion there, and only just about having a chance of potting it. Otherwise, if it had gone, the pink would stop it, it'd be no good. Oh, dear, dear. <laughs> some great shots and some 50. poor shots in this match so far. He'll soon settle down. Well, can he hold it for the black? Can he hold it by playing it very, very slow? And if this red does disappear, you can see it being a respot. Spot this first frame. Eight. Thirty. Seventy. Twenty-two. I'm pretty sure this will be the first respot we've had this week on the television table. So just two balls away from that being a reality. 
So it's been a little bit bits and pieces this frame, hasn't it? Both look great, and then all of a sudden both missed easy balls. Did what he had to do, passed the last red and the black and all the colours to make a respot, the first one of the week. The three will be tossing a coin. And it's a different way they play it, that these players these days. They tend just to play the half ball, push it on the side cushion. Gary? It's ahead again. So Kai won the toss and decided to put Ronnie in. It's good to see which way Ronnie plays this to just push it on the right hand side cushion, the white on the left hand side, or will he play it up and down? The only problem with that shot, it's such an easy safety shot to play off that shot, Terry, isn't it? And worst way, sometimes, if you put the black a little bit too high up the, the side because you leave the double on. I don't think you get an advantage from playing it that way, but we'll see what happens here. You could play a double in the uh, left corner pocket take the white down the table, it's a bit risky, but you never know. Oh, he went uh, off the cushion. Oh, so it's uh, nearly 12 foot now for Ronnie O'Sullivan to, before he hits this block. In our era, Terry, there we also used to play the, like, that shut up and down. Of course. Ronnie's just hit it hard enough. Yes, when you hit it up and down and you get a tight black on the, the far, far uh, cushion, you know, it's, it's tough Very then. tough safety yeah, then, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And this is a tough safety for Karen to play. The key thing is, that, you know, okay, you'd like a good white as well, but make sure that you get the black safe. You'll probably just stun it around three, four cushions, but the black's going to go very close to this top right-hand pocket. So he's got to be very careful of the pace he plays it. He's played the cross double again and played it nicely. Well played. I didn't think he could play that shot without getting a double kiss. see Kieran taking this on. It's very, very easy safety shot, Tell What do you think? Well, he's got an easy safety shot, but he's looking at the pot. But um, I think the pot would be mm, no more of four, four out to ten. So the odds are saying play the safety then, Terry, you think? Needs a bit of luck, and he's got plenty. Mm. Yeah, yeah. He's, all, he's got away with it, but um, that's a tough pot there. Ronnie really just came round to look at the potting angle, but surely it's too thin. No, he's playing black on the side cushion, white up in the jaws. Oh, this is a poor shot. Oh, I've never seen Ronnie play that one that poorly. He'll be taking this cut on, that's for sure. Well, I don't believe it. Both 
players are struggling to settle. This is obviously just shows you, doesn't matter how good you are, you've got to settle. Well, it was key to make a good start. Seven. Karen had every chance of making that good start. Ronnie O'Sullivan, little raise of the eyebrows. He knows he's been a bit fortunate there, but he leads by one frame to nil. Well, Ronnie's got one on the board. Let's find out if uh, if Kyron can get one as well. Breaking off in frame two. Kind of be a little bit disappointed. He lost that frame in the end, but. Uh... Doesn't matter. The breaks weren't very good at 26 for Ronnie and 35 for Kyron, but it doesn't make any difference at the end. You can win on the black and you've won the frame. So the only happy player out there at the moment is Ronnie Sullivan. to you, all the snooker players watching this match you go to your club and try and play a stun run through at distance and is it like that that's what differentiates the players timing if you played a hundred times you can do it better than you did eight nine Certainly be bringing reds into play here. Just got to be 16. careful it doesn't catch the reds too thick and the white stick on the pack. Just screwing back to make sure that the white springs away from them. Seven. So if this black goes in, you can see this being a sizable break. This is the, probably the last difficult shot he'll play in this break. I know it looks easy, but you know you've got the reds in prime position. Going to make sure of this pot. That's fine. Twenty four. Twenty five. Hurt. Thirty one. If he can run through and hit the middle of the three reds just below the pink, full in the face, he'd play that. He felt he couldn't, so he decided to move a few around. And at first look, that could have gone wrong. I don't think anything was in the left-hand corner. He just started to run through and hit the middle of the three reds. He's got a fine cut on, but I think that may be end of break. That will be a reprieve for Kyron. Looking for a plant there. Dangerous, this one. 38. Well, it's dangerous for all the other players. <laughs> oh! Very well, Sullivan, 38. He played that with a little bit of disappointment, the fact that he played a really good plant and finished hampered. And he was queuing down and the cue ball actually bounced, but he did play it very quick. <coughs> One.
8. Sixty. He's just had a quick look at uh, whether he's going to screw this pink in the middle to a couple of inches and leave an angle on the pink to bring those two reds into play. But I think it's a bit early yet. I think I'd get back into the frame first. So that's why he's just running through. No, if he's not too straight, it's okay to get onto the black. But now the work starts. Two more loose reds are no problem at all. The rest are a little bit more difficult. Three. Gone too wide to play the cannon into the red. That's near as the two reds are nearest the cushion. So you can only play for the loose one. Well, I did manage to cut the outside, and I've probably gone too wide to play that. He's played it beautifully. But I thought it was a bit too thin on the black to be able to get that cannon. Well, if this red goes in down the cushion, then the other two reds are in a very favourable position, so he should get 20 or 30 point lead before he has to play the red on the left hand side cushion. No, that's not in. Neither no, player Wilson, settled. Pick. Both players could have th be thinking to themselves, I could be 2 0 in front. But Ronnie now has a chance to go 2 0 in front. One. The highest break so far is uh, 38 with Ronnie Sullivan. You wouldn't expect a bit more than that with these two. Neither has really settled down. Eight. Nine. Twenty three points in front. Two red blacks is another 16, which is 39. So he can, he can leave Cara Need in the snook with two red pinks. So he doesn't have to worry about moving the red into play. 60. But at first glance, he's not happy with that one either. It's pretty really straight ish. I think he's got to bounce it in and drop on the cushion and play the red in the middle. Yeah, he's got plenty of angle to do that. Three. We need the colour. T four. He's shaking his head. He can't believe he's once again played a, a poor positional shot right at the wrong time. Now he's thinking: Do I play a snooker or do I try and cut the pink in? Sullivan. 
24. The greatest mistake in life is to continually fear you will make one. And that's what's happening here. Very unlike Ronnie, isn't it, not to get that positional shot right? Because he turned away in disgust. Right, then he'll play this pacey, I think, to try and leave plenty of distance between the two balls. That's unlucky. That's very unlucky. If he doesn't catch the jaws, I think he gets away with it. Very unfortunate. He knows he should have won the first frame, and now he's going to have to sit down with disappointment. A little statement Terry just came out with. Eight. Ten. Thirteen. Twenty-two. Twenty-eight. Twenty-five. In the frame. Ronnie oh, Sullivan sorry. then has pinched another frame. And he's leading 2 0. He'll, he'll be the happiest person in, in this uh, auditorium. Yeah, he certainly will be. And they will have been playing on it, playing their normal shots, and all of a sudden the cue ball short. So we can only put it down to maybe the cloth is slightly slower. It was re cloth last night, I think, wasn't it, when the whole place was. The a D sort of brought from two tables to one, but um, Ronnie then 2 0 up and uh, breaking in frame three. Back we go. Yes, for me, the table does look half a length slower. It'll speed up as the television lights dry it out. The roll of cloth is just left at the back of the auditorium, and overnight, of course, it gets pretty cold in here. But uh, it'll be a different table tonight when it's dried out. Magnificent, isn't it, this one table arena? Obviously, there was eight tables, I think, early on in this, this week. Now down to one. And magnificent crowds with the terrible weather outside. Storm Dennis. He's got a lot to answer for, that Dennis Taylor. Well, we've seen three or four wonderful shots in this match, but we've also seen three or four very poor ones. 
Another great pot from Ronnie. And Ronnie so far has six out of six long ones. Kieran obviously 50-50. Dominic mentioned he felt for a little bit of for Karen and Ronnie overscrewed that for quite some way. The fact they lost those two frames he could have won. And of course, you know, you can't afford to be three one behind at the interval. You've got to stay with Ronnie. There's every chance now Ronnie could score pretty heavy from here. Enough? Nearly. Ronnie Ossol, seven. Well, it's a very strange game, isn't it, so far? We're two and a quarter frames in, and still the highest break is only in the 30s, 38. Karen Wilson's made three breaks above 30. Ronnie's made two breaks above 30. That will improve without doubt, but could be now. Eight. That was nicely Nine. played. Surely we're going to get a bigger bit than a 38 year. You'd think so, wouldn't you? But So strange misses from both players. <coughs> he had a good split there. Six. Brought those rides out into a good place. Oops. He's putting his little extension on the end. Just helping to stop the stretching. You can see he's bridging over those rats. Doesn't make it a little bit more difficult. Sent. Kenan Wilson is a bit like uh, Judd Trump. He, he brings his brother with him all the time. Nothing wrong in that. 25.
be a good job working for these players at the minute, wouldn't it, if you're on 10%? 32. Carl Wilson's already getting towards a quarter of a million pound barrier this year. Judd Trump was, I think, at 600,000, and there's still plenty of tournaments to go. There's my luck, my brother never played. 33. A little bit short of where he would like to be in, but he's uh, he's definitely one of the best players with rest in the, in the game. He's coming in there. Um, he's got a few reds after this pink, but. It's getting a bit awkward now. There's three reds at the back of the pink arrow, four reds. Forty five. Far and away the high spec of the mat so far, and that little cannon D6. has made at least two of those reds near the pink potable. So it's certainly a frame winning opportunity now. It's a must win frame as well for Karen. We've mentioned already he could have won the opening two frames. So he'll be thinking I could be three them in front, but I'm two one behind. But if I win this frame. 53. Little flick, as you can see there, is and that's other red. So two more reds, two colours, and have a frame on the board. Sixty-one. Sixty-two. Sixty-nine. Certainly hasn't made a mistake in this uh, break. Seven. Keeping the cue ball very. Close to the object ball. T6. It's the uh, split he done earlier on that uh, gave him this chance. That's the Reds went all over the place. And he's parting most of them. Eighty-two. We've mentioned so many times how good he is with the rest, and that is another example. Already made thirty-four centuries this season. This looks every chance to make thirty-five. Obviously had a. Had a 147 earlier on in the Late. week. So that every chance he's going to win the high break prize. Gee whiz, that's a poor shot. Wow. This see. cloth is playing heavy. <laughs> he just said good shot. I'm not even sure this cuts in. Standard rest. This white will be travelling at pace.
<laughs> He's unlucky with snooking himself. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. <laughs> Almost impossible, that cut. He'll swerve around this, though, surely. Really? Can you clean the blue? <laughs> <as> just said. <laughs> Might be one of those times to get the spider out and play, play the swell. We can just about reach it. What a shame, no sentry deserved one, but he'd been kept at sea in the first two frames. He'd be delighted to get a frame on the board, but still trails by two frames to one. Yes, what did Willie say there? It was a must-win frame for Best Wilson. Best of 11 at the semi-finals stage. First to six will win it. The longer you go, the more of an endurance test it becomes. Absolutely, and it's not too big a problem, 3-1 down and in the best of 11, but obviously you'd like to be tall. But you're not worrying at 3-1 down at best of 11. Well, Ronnie's got 100% success rate at long pots, six out of six if he takes this on. Be interesting to see because this is tough. Because the reason I say it's tough because he knew he was going to leave a red on that put a lot of pressure on the pot. Asylum, please. Be very disappointed they've been clinging to the cushion all week. What? The boys in the studio mentioned that they had the D rig last night, and this is a brand new cloth, cushions and bed. But it's certainly playing slower. Too sure whether he can get into the cue ball enough to kiss the edge of the pack. He doesn't want to kiss the two reds just above the pack. He can really get into it and just flip that outside one of the three. Not too sure he can get enough into the cue ball though. Well, he could, but he just flicked the red, didn't he? And now he flicked it into an unpotable position. His body language tells me he has. We'll get a chance to show you this shot again. That red Eight. potted a second ago. Just watch when he plays this screw shot. We might get a chance to show you that shot again in a minute, because Ronnie's really trying to get the bite on the cue ball there to miss and those two reds eight. as he screwed back. See, there's the shot. That bottom red pot, but you see, he just flicked it that fraction, which knocked it safe, and that's why he was so disappointed. a cracker. I don't know if he's going to uh, try and split the few. Yeah, there's a few reds out. Mm, gone wrong. That's the problem there. There's too many reds in the way and they, he didn't clear them. Eight. Once again, Terry, earlier on in the week with the, with the other cloth, it, it was whipping through those reds. So it's definitely a bit heavy, this cloth, at the minute. I think it'll be different tonight, as I said earlier on in commentary, when these television lights dry the cloth out so quickly. <coughs> so both had a chance in this frame. Both only scored eight.
Karen Wilson, eight. Left attempt huh? in the middle. If the red doesn't pass the blue that's nearest the pocket in the middle pocket, he may decide to try and leave the white in the jaws of the middle pocket and be on the blue. Just coming around to have a little look now. Oh no, maybe he's not. <laughs> Thinking of the safety. This is a tricky pot he's going to play in the middle. This is dangerous. But not dangerous enough. Played the cover it with the yellow. Just overran it slightly. Unlucky. Good pot that. So the one. Mm, he's having taken a bit of time over this. I think the reds and the too thin to pot in the left centre. Mm. Mm, perhaps not. No, oh, it wasn't on. The way the reds are, if anybody gets a, a really good chance down there, we could have a, another big break like the 94 that Kyle Wilson made in the previous frame. But um, as we've seen in this frame, he went to split the packs and, and it didn't work. But um, it is the right shot. Should you call luck? Didn't play that shot very well. But hasn't left anything easy for Ronnie Sullivan. Oh, beautiful shot. The only problem with that shot with Ronnie, he puts run inside with mixed the white go further and he doesn't even get on the ball colours. A really good pot. Well he's itching to try and pot the green but it's too dangerous. You just got to roll up to it, haven't you? Give it a good touch. There you go. Yeah, so long. One. Maybe I'll get through to this right hand red. I don't think you can get through to the potting angle. You can certainly hit the red. Yeah, the green's just in the way of the potting angle. It's not straightforward, this. What's he looking at down the left hand side? He can't see anything down that side. 
You can swerve around the green for this red on the right, uh, near the right cushion. But then if you get run inside on it, it's, uh, it may come down and leave a red on. It's certainly one thing for certain, it's tough to get back to Bork. And down this end of the table, red spread far and wide, it's tough to leave the white on this back cushion because that red's cuttable on the left-hand side of the black. So he's in trouble here. Penny for his thoughts. Yeah, that, that's why I'm glad he, that Ronnie ran up to the green because he could have parted the green and won the frame. But he was never going to lose the frame if he ran up to the green. Well, unless Karin has a fluke here, of course. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> I don't know whether you can see enough of this red that uh, is on the right-hand side to be able to hit it half full and play the deep screw and try and get the white back up into port. No, he can't. No, just looking at that no. picture. So he's in big trouble here. Playing the one next to the pink, he's playing the one next to the pink, and if he rests on it, that is brilliant. What a good effort that is. I think Ronnie can see the red. What a great effort, Terry, that. It looked easy enough. Mm. He's having a go at this. Screw back. Another red come up to play with them as well. So it's not an e the easiest cut in the world, but I think Ron will be taking it on. Get down for the black. There's also a red on that uh, right cushion there. I don't think he'll. Well, he may take it on. Yeah. There he is. That shot is the easiest one. Oh, right in the centre. Beautiful strike of the cue ball. We won't see a better one than that. Still pretty low from both players, usually in this uh, standard. You'd be at 94, 95%, so that part success rate is still pretty low. Four. Five. Once again, really struggle with the pace of the table, and the foot shorter than he wanted. But plenty of loose reds. Again, look at how um, he's, he's just bemused where the white's finished. So. There's just no reaction off the cloth at the minute. And funny enough, Terry, he's not bound to get on the black off this. No, he, he didn't get this, this, the side in here, go there. The side he played. Oh, eight. Oh, that's handy. Now then. So it's Ronnie Sullivan now has got into this uh, position with all 50. these reds now. There. Most of them can go in one corner at least. 60. Then would it be dead straight? 
wouldn't surprise me at, as well, Terry, whether, I, know, I don't know whether they do this as well, obviously they've changed the cloth and the cushion cloth, whether they've changed the balls, because this white ball is not reacting anywhere near as lively as it was yesterday when they're playing the screw shots. OK, they might not be timing it quite as well yet, but yesterday it was, they could easily screw back all sorts of distances. Today it looks a bit heavy. Don't forget it's been raining heavy today as well. That does come into effect. 24. <laughs> Look at those six reds there. <laughs> the three... The wear bottom, line of three twice. <laughs> So he's going to have to leave one in the middle, I think. Has he gone too far? 31. Now he can just get through. Thirty-two. Mm, he's shaking his head, they still didn't have uh, enough pace on that. When you get a, a table that's uh, slower than previous, uh, you know, your rhythm goes. It's, it's amazing just to watch Ronnie's face when he's playing these shots and seeing where the cue ball is finished. He's, He's just so bemused at what's happening, having played on this table all week, so he knows every blade of grass on this table. He keeps having to play recovery shots. So far he's played them well, 47 45. in front, 59 remaining. So red colour red, and he's uh, going to go into the interval leading 3-1. Well, it's been a match that could have gone either, either way. Either player could have been four on in front. Ronnie and Furness will be delighted. He's three one in front. Sixth. Sixty one. Could make a century here. That, uh, 69. It's hard out there for both players. 69. But they're warming up, aren't they? Karen Wilson 63. made a lovely break of 94 in the previous frame, unlucky not to make a century. Ronnie needs to clear here to make exactly 75. 100. Disappointed, Karen. Yeah, okay, might still go on to win this match, but he knows he's had every chance in this 78. opening four frames to lead three one at least. Eighty two. Ronnie's made thirty four centuries this season. Eighty seven. But this will be his thousand and forty fourth. Should he pop pink and black? 93. It's been a lot more like it the last two frames. 93. And it will be a delighted Ronnie O'Sullivan going into the interval 3 1 in front. He knows he's not been at his best, but he's got a lead, and that's what he wants going into the second session. 228, Paul.
he certainly won't want to lose the first or second one of the session, otherwise the match is all but done. Here we go then, back to our commentary team, Terry Griffith and Willie Thorne. Yeah, it's very interesting from the guys in the studio. As was mentioned, Karen Wilson spent his interval in the practice room. Ronnie O'Sullivan would have spent his interval reading the paper and having a cup of tea. That's what he normally does. <laughs> the practice seems to have worked, albeit because he did a fraction too hard. That's a good start, yeah? I had a chat with him in the practice room. Kyron is a really nice guy. His brother's with him. And he's saying he's um, struggling a little bit, you know, rather than just play the no the normal angle to play the shot. He's, he's like judging a bit of side and things on it to see if it'll go better. But mm. I can only presume he played to roll up behind the brown, not not to pot the green, but <laughs> the green very nearly went in. Don't think Ronnie will be attempting this party. We're playing the thin safety shot back to Bork. A little bit Foul. too thin. Miss. Karen Wills, four. Karen can obviously get through to this red, so that's why he's not putting Ronnie back in. Oh, we can't get through to it, uh, but at least he's... I'm surprised because he knows really from his hand on the table, Ronnie O'Sullivan is going to play a better safety shot than last time. Karen can get his hand on the table. Are you surprised, Terry? He's, he's putting back in? Mm, yeah, it's 50 50, really. Yeah, you don't, you don't think Ronnie's going to miss again, but. Um I mean, I've got a good, good safety out of it anyway, so. That's what he tried for in the first shot. <laughs> I've got the bounce. I rest my case. <laughs> it was, it, if the keyboard had been on the cushion, I can, I can totally agree with putting Ronnie back in. But with hand on the table, he was asking for trouble. Boy, has he got some. I just think Ronnie was just trying for the ball cushion. He wasn't trying to get behind the brown because there's reds on both sides, so didn't quite hit it as he liked. What do I to do? But a bit of luck's okay here and there. Two cushions here into the pack. Oh no. Oops, he tried to hit the, uh, this pack of reds. So he's left Ronnie a red on. I don't know if the black will go. The answer is no. One. <laughs> Didn't get up to the blue lock. Hmm. Although there's Greens are like an easy pot, obviously. It's now we got some screw in it, fair play. Pink available in the middle, the black's not available in the corner, so oh. they may decide this time to screw back for the blue. Usually very good at creating the right pace to black. get top side, which he's done perfectly this time. It's all about getting rid of the red just below the black. That's the one he wants to get rid of as soon as possible. Can't do it this time. Matter of fact, he's probably got the worst angle on the blue possible. That's why he's decided to take the yellow. I'd be interested to see how if he swings around two cushions, what's, what kind of pace he plays it, because they've not got the pace between them yet of this table, and they've played four frames on it. That's a little better. Seven. A little better. <laughs> Eight. I 
Well, he can't get that far out of the way now. And he goes into the pack or plays for one of the single reds. Um, I'm telling him what happens when the uh, when Sullivan. cue Eight. ball is not spinning at, like it normally is. Then you deliver the cue too fast to try and get the spin on. It's uh, making it difficult for both players. Yeah, they've already played together on the black. I mean, early on in the week or even yesterday, that cue ball would have been top side of the black, not low on the black. It's definitely at least half a length slower than yesterday. That's not in. Cara will be kicking himself. He knows he's got Ronnie not at his best today, and he still finds himself trailing. Capable of beating Ronnie, even when Ronnie's playing as, as well as he can. You don't very often get Ronnie missing as many balls as he has done today so far. That's what'll frustrate Karen. Chimbo. Ronnie may play the cue ball just straight up to the green, just try and finish right on top of the green. It's touching ball. Yeah, that's what he's going to do, just try and rest on the green. Was deviating a little bit. But clever shot. Wow. That was some shot, and he's been very unlucky. One. It is not on the black. Are you is it not? Great pot, dead centre. Little nudge in the pink. Nothing to go for. Well, if you play that shot a hundred times and not kiss the pink half ball and leave nothing. Now is it his turn to try and pot the pink in the green pocket? Dead weight. So if he misses it, he covers the pocket. Or is he going to play the snooker? Just play the snooker on the red in bulk. Karen Wills, one. After such a great pot, he's so unlucky not to have had a pot on the colour. He's not been in that position many times in his life. Single red up in the bulk is uh, causing problems now. So they may just be touching. White has run far enough to leave a, a pot on past the black for Ronnie Sullivan. So now they can get rid of that red now. The, I think both players don't want to fiddle about with that.
and a miss. And Sullivan, four. Just a fraction shot there. He's given him another chance. Goal of losses. that way a little bit. That's about right. Yeah. Yeah. Carry, run it. So tight on the cushion, but um, looking down the line of the short cone, and Wilson can get past the pink and t just clip the red as long as he doesn't hit it next, next to the uh, left corner pocket and leave it for Ronnie Sullivan. So nothing's easy out there. The only thing that's easy out there is missing a pot. Ronnie's looking at the red, goes past the black. The one that's on the right of the black there. And if he, but is he is he going to can in uh, the balls? Oh, it doesn't go in. Hmm. Good safety. <laughs> Put the black in a difficult position. Just six the difference now. Well, he's looking at the plant, but uh, not too sure the, the plant's on. Well, looking at the picture we're going to show you in a second, it is on. But it's one of those. The other red is just in the way of hitting the half ball angle he wants to hit on the red. This could square up and hit the left-hand jaw if he plays the plant. This is not a certainty. That other red, the, the, the two-ball plant's on, but the red that's just stopping it at where he wants to, if he just catches that first, it'll plant to the left-hand side. There may be another shot to nothing on or off the loose red through, through a gap, but the gap's not very big. It's one of those. If you, <laughs> You feel great when you knock these plants in and you look silly if you don't because the reds will be going all over the place if he takes it on. It looks like he's going to play it and he'll be playing this very pacey. Yeah, he was always going to throw to the jaw. Just hit the other red first, that was the problem. All the balls moved but none of them went in the pocket. Well, you can gain confidence by playing well yourself, but you can also gain confidence by seeing your opponent play poorly. Karen knows he's, 
you can get right back into this match at this moment in time. Ronnie's not quite a, well, nowhere near 100%, but he's certainly nowhere near as good as he normally is. So he's certainly beatable today. Mind you, that struggled in. This pink, somebody, look how many times it knocked on the door before it went in. Or only twice. Eight. These reds that are surrounding the black are all in the way of one another at the minute. Nothing pots in either the right hand or left hand corner pocket of those four reds. Obviously, the one nearest the pocket will pot, but he can't nicely get onto a colour apart from the pink. So that's why he's playing for the red in bulk first. So I screw back for the choice of blue or pink here. 11. one of the best uh, rest players in the game. Sean Murphy, Barry Hawkins is very good. So I'd love to know the season's rest success because the, I can't remember Karen Wilson missing with the rest. He just never misses with the rest. Sean Murphy's the same. That'd be a stat, wouldn't it? Seasons race Eight. play. Have a little bit to do with this red, but at least it clears the black into one pocket. And two, four. This now is such a massive frame for Karen. It was big before, but the fact that Ronnie's missed a couple of times in this frame, he knows it'll hurt Ronnie if he goes on to win this frame at this visit. And two, five. So much slower than it was yesterday at this table. We keep saying it, but it is. just off straight on the pink so we can get a little bit closer to choice of reds around this black spot now. Make a change to hit the jaws when he plays one with the rest to be honest. <laughs> just go in the middle of the pocket all the time. Seven. The lead goes to 31, so we need probably three reds to make sure that Ronnie's not going to come back to the table. He didn't really make his mind there whether to play for the pink or the blue, and that's why he's finished in betwixt and between. Blue's too straight. 
just a gnats off straight, but still pink is the better choice. Beautifully played. Red and black to leave running in his snookers. Red, black, red to keep running in his chair. Well, he's playing for the pink, but the same scenario. Five. Needs one more red to be certain of the frame, and that looks a formality. Fifty one. Sixty four. Sixty six. Good effort. Sixty nine. We may see a miss one with the rest here. Don't tell me he's going to cut that one in. He's missed one. But what a fabulous break that was from Carr in the break of 69. He needed to win that opening frame of the session. He's done just that. But he still trails by three frames to two. Maybe a uh, sign of Wilson's growing confidence then that he, he went for the cut on the he brow. Well against Mark Selby breaks of 142, 95 and 85 in consecutive frames. We've seen none of that today yet. Do you think he's still sat there, Darren, just going through things in his mind? Do you do, does he do that, or is, it, or is, 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 do you just, is the mind empty? I just think as, as he's got older, you know, he, he's shown a lot more expressions on his face. I've said this week in Combry, you know, one minute he sat in his chair, he looks like he, he doesn't want to be there, and the next thing it's like someone has just flicked a switch on him and he's back into rocket Ronnie mode, mm. and then, then he looks a little bit subdued again. And uh, Obviously, he won't be too happy with the way things have gone so far in this match, but he is still 3 to ahead. And what Dominic said is absolutely right. You know, he hasn't really scored prolifically like he's been doing, but the last three frames we've had, mind, they've been three one-visit uh, breaks to win each frame, albeit after missed pots within the beginning of the frames. So a real confidence boost of that frame for frame Kyron Wilson then, isn't it? With uh, that one uh, there, 3-2, and back we go with... Uh, Wilson to break. Not a bad break off there. It's one red, but I don't know if he can get past the brown to take the uh, long red on into the left corner pocket. I'm sure he know he can't get to it. A nasty shot this. Oh, you can just get past the green. Wow, these balls, they, they are split in the reds when they when they hit the punk. Is this another tempter for Karen? He's blessed with a lot of cue power. 
But with the table being a bit heavy, this is not uh, as easy to screw back into bork. Well, not into bork, but to, towards the bork line. Looking good again, isn't he? And did get past the bork line. One. You'd have to say he's a little unlucky not to have a straightforward pot. That's just a wonderful shot. One. He'd have been itching to have a go at that brown there, but he knows he's got Ronnie in a place where he's getting a little frustrated. He wants to keep him off the table, he doesn't want to risk anything and miss anything easy. Playing the one to the left of the black, the one that's nearest the cushion. Hasn't potted the ball for over 20 minutes, Ronnie. Could be a lot longer if this goes round the back of this. Well, that is just beautiful, isn't it? In bowls terms, it was almost a toucher. That was just a wonderful judge of pace. And you consider the table was playing totally different to what it has done all week. That was brilliant. Well, this has uh, got to be hit terribly thin. This is so easy to hit these thick and not get the cue ball past the ball, the blue spot area. Oh, he's just played a containing safety. Too risky to get back into Bork. Foul. Mm. Four. At first glance, not done a lot of damage. The one on the outside will pot. But is there room to get round the back of the black easy enough, or is he going to play the cannon on the two oh. reds to hold for the black? You might just play that through the gap of the red and black and then cannon into the two reds and then he'll be on the black in the right hand corner. It's coming up to 23 minutes since his last pot. <laughs> played it as a shot to nothing rather than play the what? cannon. Don't blame him. Bit of a good pot having not potted one for 23 minutes. Yes, and he had to get the spin, you know, right if he caught it too thick or thin. He'd be leaving uh, Kairon on. So. And then let's see if he's uh, going to start potting balls and get in good position. Four. Hasn't been happening for a while. Five. It's an interesting point that Dominic made that uh, if you take away the 100 break that Ronnie made in the fourth frame, his ice break's 38. So he's not, certainly not got his scoring boots on at the moment. Every chance here, though. I don't know about those two reds that are touching whether they're near a plant Ten. in the left hand corner. If they are, you, you won't have to worry about moving them. If they're not, he'll be playing some sort of cannon shortly. 
You'll have to play the cannon here if they're not a plant. Obviously, they're not a plant. So he's got them in prime position now. Can he keep the break going? 80. Ninety. Made that look easy there. That's a difficult shot. He's always going to pot it, but it's the position as well. The two 26. best players at the moment, OK, Robertson as well, but Judd Trump and Ronnie O'Sullivan break build totally different. 27. Judd had gone into the pack off that last black, but Ronnie just flicked off the outside of the pack. It's lovely to see the different ways the players break build. Ronnie undoubtedly the world's greatest break builder. 34. But if you could say sometimes, he perhaps sometimes not aggressive enough, but he still gets the job done. 35. The bottom red will pot, so he can play the red in the same pocket as the black. And that in turn will open another couple of reds, I'm sure. Not if he finishes that straight. 42. So that's where the difference is with Judd and Ronnie. You know, Judd has had these balls open. Ronnie's now got to play 43. a good cannon. The middle of the three reds is the one he'd like to push through on the left hand side. This is just a stun run through into the middle of the three reds. Well, he hit the other red, he hit the wrong red, but it's OK just. He hit the right hand red first. That's why the keyboard has gone near the cushion. Just watch the white. Hit that right hand red first. Fifth. He needed to hit the middle one of the three. Karen Wilson missed one of these earlier in the match. This is not straightforward. Well played. 51. Fifty-five. Striking the ball nice now. He's having a look if one of those reds will go into the right corner, but there's one definitely goes into the middle. And that's what he's played for. 62. 63. Break us on to 70. 70. Seventy one. It's okay. Seventy six. Not perfect, but uh, I can drop that red in. Very good. Seventy seven. Three. Four. Certainly warmed up. He must have told himself, I don't want to sit on this chair any longer. <laughs> when I got a chance, I'm going to make it. <laughs> 91. 92. 100. Oh. 
103. And seven. One hundred and twelve. Nice exhibition Nation. stuff at the moment. Wonderful 125 break. That's a thousand and forty five centuries he's made. Absolutely amazing. frame and, and maybe that could spur Ron into action now I mean he's managed to re-establish that two frame lead so he's 4-2 ahead now a couple of frames away from victory pressure's back on Kyron Wilson now it's a big frame for him coming up it doesn't look like he's feeling the pressure though at Wilson is he or is he doing a good job of disguising it well I, I, I you know Frank's there's going to be pressure out there but that's what they that's what they play in the game for they want to win the tournament so there's always going to carry pressure but I, I think the last four frames you know once they've got in it's been one visit so look at the last four frames take the first couple out which they missed all over the shop a little bit settling down but the last four have been absolute top quality okay into frame seven then snooker's big rock and roll star starting to hit the right notes again yes but he hasn't had another five in the charts like I have <laughs> yes, it's the, the proper snooker now, isn't it? These last four frames, like Darren just mentioned, have been top draw. This is a shot to nothing around the back of the pack, and the way he's been hitting the ball, this will go very close. You just, the break-off shot now is one of the most important shots of the game. You know, you just so many times they knock a long one in off the break, and, you know, probably five out of ten, they win the frame from it. So it's such an important shot. Somebody's got to develop a break-off where you don't ever leave a pot. Four. Not long Five. pot with uh, Kyron Wilson. He, he may as well just, just give it to him because he's going to pot it every time. I mean, those are really difficult shots, you know, when you're near to the cushion and you've got to get the right contact on the red. Oh. Well, he's okay into the middle. But, um, 12. Would I like to still be on... Get on the black, but not a chance now. Both players picked up their game now, by the look of it. It's going to be a, a great finish. Sorry, we went 4-2 in front, but uh, still a bit to do. He played that position just to play the rest, will he? Four. 
dead centre. 60. Yes, yeah, the only one he's missed with the rest is when he tried to cut that ridiculous brown in, so it wasn't in live play as well. But these, uh, there you see those two reds and the one on the outside on the left will pot as well, so could get a 40 or 50 point lead here. Mm. They are just struggling when they play a little screw yeah. shot to get the pace of the ball. The, he's forced now into going to the bunch, he didn't want to. Yeah, it's more sort of a stun shot, isn't it? it uh, that's why it's not moving. Once they get the backspin on, it'll go quick enough on the cloth, I think, but uh, just a matter of striking it well. Be interesting to see whether he plays it really aggressive here, just runs through off one of them, but there'll yeah, certainly be a few reds moving, that's for sure. Well played. 24. Controlled shot, that. I mean, if he did it uh, with more pace, it would have gone down the table anyway, and even the red went in, so... Good chance now. It's nine. He's got a good temperament, Kyron. He's, he's a, he never shows out on anything or anything like that, you know, and doesn't complain. Bert. The middle red of the three is the one that's guaranteed to leave two reds on. Is it the first one? So he's got a hope one in the middle, and he has got one in the middle. Hit the right hand one there. But if this red seven. goes in, it could be a frame winner. You'd expect him to get another four or five colours after this. Mm. He's playing that one there. Good enough. I thought he played the other one, he's a bit straighter, but he's uh, played that well. And we can have another big break. Pink's going to get in the way of a couple of reds, but there's no real problem. 44. The three reds are together, at least two of them are put in the right hand corner, the one to the right of the pink are put in the left hand corner. So it doesn't have to play any cannons. Oh dear. I didn't see that coming. Wow, well, that will be a body blow to Karen. He'll be horrified. Just put a little the right hand side, pushed into it, hit it thick. Needed to play that plain ball. Delighted to have not left a pot on having missed that very, very easy red. Okay, he's faced with a difficult safety shot, but could play the cross double white back into Bork. It's a nice lead, 44 points, but where the reds are, that could evaporate very quickly. So it's key to win this safety battle. He's tried to put that red safe on the cushion, it hasn't worked.
We'll be taking the pot on here, the cut. But we'll certainly be playing the cue ball on the ball cushion as well. Oh, we hit that good as well. Hmm. I'm a little surprised that red didn't come away from the pocket, but is it so well? Well, the red is, uh, he's played his, his on there, but easy pot, but difficult position. Oh, 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 oh no. no, no. That yeah, was well, very unlucky. Four. He just caught that red a little too thick. Otherwise it wouldn't have gone in off, but you see it there. Half ball into the pocket. One. They've had a six. few close matches in the five matches they've played against each other. A 6-5 and a 10-9. Karin's only won the one match of the five, but you'd expect that because Karin's on his way up. Ronnie's been there forever. Seven. But he certainly is definitely a player that's going to be around for some time, Karin. Makes precious little mistakes. Very good safety player. And he's got a heart of a lion, which is helps. Plenty of maybe some players are maybe better than Kyra in ability wise, but they haven't got the temperament of this young man. Thirty. Oh, didn't get into that properly. Forty. Need another foot of pace, A to be on the pink better and or B to be top side of the blue. I'm not sure whether he played for the blue or the pink there the way he hit that. Okay, it looks nice and easy, isn't it? But you've got to cue these well. Well done. Held the spot, I think. Doesn't matter about it going on the brown spot, that won't worry him at all. Twent. That puts the frame beyond any doubt. 21. We thought it was going to be a classic match. The way it started, I wasn't so sure, but now both players appear in stroke. 28. Another example of finishing short. T six. T seven. Forty-four. Forty-five. Come when he's playing normally, when the match is live, when the frame is live, always has a pre-shot routine, but as you can see now, he's just playing at a pace where he would do in practice. Fit. There's no pre-shot routine when he's won the frame. Fifty-two. I don't fancy him getting on the brown here. He's uh, going to have to hit with loads of left hand side. And he's going around the world. Break comes to end at 52, but it started Wilson with a 44. 52. Kyle Wilson is hanging on to Ronnie O'Sullivan, but it's still 4 3 O'Sullivan.
Yeah, he's doing more than hanging on, really, at the moment, isn't he? He's given uh, Ronnie a real challenge in this semi-final. Uh, welcome to you. Um, to my left, when I played to see my left in bed, and it was like lightning still. Table five to my right, Anthony Hamilton was playing on that table, and it was like lightning. Why was my table so slow? And it's playing exactly the way this team seems to be playing this afternoon. So it's my opinion that the cloth just hasn't been put stretched properly. It's a little bit slack. Thank you very much. just a little bit slow because Aaron of Wilson's that. A break. That's my opinion. Doesn't mean I'm right, of course, but I that's I, what I think. I wish I had some answers for you about that, but I don't, unfortunately. But anyway, I'm sure Clothgate will go on. But let's go back in with uh, Clothgate. Uh, Wilson having pulled one back. Ronnie, 4-3 up now. Aaron Wilson then breaking off there. And uh, I'm not sure if Ronnie didn't get past the green to the red in the right corner. But Karen Wilson would have been delighted with his last frame. Two good breaks. He's sticking with Ronnie O'Sullivan at the moment. One. He needs to slow down, and it has. Always nice to see the ball going dead centre of the pocket. Oh, that's a problem. He was. Daniel Sullivan, one. The awkward shot that yeah. was for him. He had to. <coughs> you see his kill right up in the air, and mm, he missed it by a bit. Mm. It's not just the miss, it's the, the problem of leaving Kyron in now, straight away. One. He loves this shot, car in the deep screw into the bunch and screwing off them. No problem screwing off them this time with the red being where it is next to the black. Needs to walk it round that red directly above the black and he'll be pushing that one over the corner. So as long as he misses that kiss and doesn't hit it full ball, he'll be fine. Yeah, he has done there, you see, perfect. Probably a little bit more screw back would have been better. Did catch the red bit very thin, but at least Eight. he got into the bunch. It was always going to get on one off that pack that time. He must be buzzing inside now, Karen, because he knows Ronnie is not 100%. He started to play well. Can he keep it going? Nine. And he Six. shifted a few reds out of the way, but uh, he's only on one now into the centre pocket. It's then down for the black. 70. Very important for uh, Kyron Wilson to win this frame. And now after Ronnie missing that brown, it'll hurt him. And once again, he's, he's playing a positive way, you know, to get a few reds out. And they're all there, but they don't all go in the same pocket. So you've got to get good position as well. Let's see far. Mm. 
little bit short. That's Had a big margin of error there. Could have played that another 18 inches higher. Don't know whether he can run through and get onto the black again. No, he can't from there. Maybe play a little stun, leave a half ball black. 33. I was looking, I mean, Ronnie would be playing for a loose red here. He'd, he's already, already looking at playing the cannon into the red next to the pink. Because he knows if that cannon comes off, it's frame over. He's always looking to win the frame at one visit, Karen. A bit like Judd. See, Ronnie wouldn't have played that shot like that. What? Forty eight. Straight red into the centre, pink available. 49. You went in the pocket rather fast there, I'd say, wouldn't it? Very fast. Confidence is up. 3 up to 55. 55. There. 56. Oh, more than a bit. Yeah. He still part the black, but he would have been straight forward on the black without that kick. Stop the cue ball. Needed uh, another three or four inches to get straight on the black. So this black isn't as easy as you think it is, mainly because of what just happened. Got the pot. When he's on the red. Sixty three. Sixty four. The party's a little bit too thin on the blue, it make it a little bit easier, but he hadn't been missing for a while now. Good stuff, very good stuff. Class 69. Yes, it started off very slowly this match. I thought 70. the game yesterday with Sean Murphy and Jed Trump was by far and away the best match of the tournament so far. This has obviously got now the makings of eclipsing that. Ronnie, as you know, has been unlucky last frame where he went in off. 77. And there again, he's unlucky there when the first red he potted the first red and finished hampered. So the run of the ball is uh, slightly favouring Karen, but he's playing well enough to get that. Playing really well. 50. Amazingly enough, Karen's only made two centuries, one of which was a 147. And the other was a hundred. There's every chance here he's going to make his third. Another great shot. Eighty five. Eighty-six. 
Very, very good. <laughs> Wonderful break. Ronnie, yeah, as I mentioned, a little unlucky to finish hampered for the Brown. Since then, he's been sat in his chair. 102. We've had 73 tournament centuries. Beautifully 111. now. 111. Timing to perfection. 140. 180. One hundred and twenty three. One hundred and twenty nine. Oh, he's hitting them hard and they're going in. One hundred and thirty six. The Break of 136 in the previous frame. He made a 44 and a 52. But more important, he's now level. For all. Yes, and Kyron Wilson's just added another century for this season, his third of this year's Welsh Open, and credit to him because 3 1 down at the break, fellas. Uh, he's won three of the four frames since the interval and uh, brought it back at 4 4. I mean, that was terrific snooker there. Yeah, they, you know, he wasn't looking uh, too promising for him coming into that interval, but the standard of snooker the pair of them have played. And what I mean by that is like the breaks they've hit, you know, okay, they both missed a couple of balls in all frames, but the last four or five frames, you, you can't ask for anything better than, than what they're now producing. And Don, what about this? After he got the kick previously on the red, but this is a great finish on the black. Yes, this is a missable black because obviously he's playing it with a little bit of disappointment in his mind because of the kick beforehand and if he'd have missed that black, he'd have given Ronnie a great chance to get back into the frame. But Ronnie hasn't made a 30 break since making that 125 to establish a 4-2 lead and it's never felt like a match to me that Hyam Wilson could Rain win. Nine. But it's beginning to feel that way Rain now that he can certainly win this match. And we're in for a cracker because there's been an abundance of big breaks since frame three. Great break there, wasn't it? Now the owners switching back to Ronnie O'Sullivan, breaking off in frame nine. Yes, we obviously started off best of 11. We're now down to the best of three. And I'm no nearer to knowing who's going to win this match. I don't know about you people at home. But is Ronnie going to find a bit of magic? He knew to. Hasn't had the best of run on the ball in the last couple of frames, but he's so determined to 
to try and win this tournament purely for his ranking position. So he's been trying really hard all week. Now again, the run of the ball's favouring Karen. Now this is a horrible shot to play when you just lost a couple of frames on the trot. That was a great effort from Karen actually. But this shot of Ronnie's, he knows it's fraught with danger purely because of the red to the left of the black. Look how straight it is. See, he doesn't like it. If that red hadn't been next to the black, he'd play that without a problem. But he knows it, you know, one thing was certain, he doesn't want to go 5-4 behind and leave him an easy chance. Looking at where the balls are, if he stopped it dead, he would well, still be in trouble because they're right at the back of the pack, yeah. So I don't blame him for not taking in a pot on there. Any problem with that shot, he's going to be in trouble at his next visit. Oh, that's on his shoe, something on the back of his shoe. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's not on it. I think there must have been a bit of ticker tape or something that was... Uh, Fell on the floor and is on the bottom of the referee's shoe. Ideally, I'd like to have covered the outside of the pack with the green, but it is a fraction too hard. So, nothing difficult about this safety, as long as you miss the jaws of the middle pocket. Which he has done. Well, the last time he looked at a plant, he missed it by the proverbial mile. can show you that it's not nowhere near set, but it can be made. Well, he looks like he's going for it. This is fraught with danger, this one as well. Mm. I think he was erring <laughs> on the side of safety as well there, wasn't he? Didn't go all out for that one. Foul, Menace. Ronald Sullivan, four. May have looked a little bit reckless that, but he 
got what he played. He obviously, the pot would have been a bonus. He was concentrating more on getting the cue ball back to the ball carrier. Down to kiss the green, he would have put Ronnie in trouble, but the kiss on the greens left Ronnie a relatively straightforward safety. Well, the run of the ball is definitely not favouring Ronnie, is it? Wow, this is a great chance. The black pot's in the right-hand corner. So whatever Ronnie's doing at the moment, he seems to be doing it wrong. He's obviously playing a screw back in the book, and the double kiss obviously brought the right the wrong end of the table. Look at these. Uh, in two shots time, the black will be available into both corners as well. This is a great chance to go 5-4 in front. One. exactly what's happened. The black's available now into both corners after this red. Eight. Seventy. Just for holding the cue ball purposely, he just be nudging into the left hand of the three reds. Could play the, through the gap and play on the, one of the three reds into the corner, but he wants to get rid of the red that's going to be hampering queuing for a little while, though. This red nearest the pocket. That's why he's played the cannon there, but not played it well. And that's his first poor shot he's played for quite some time. See, the reason he wanted to get rid of that red on the left-hand side is just that it gives him more room to get his hand on the table for the black. But obviously it's gone astray this time, so be forced up to play for the blue or pink. Red in the middle. No. Oh, I thought he'd missed that. Oh dear. 25. I thought that was high for a second. Wow, it looked high, didn't it? This is dangerous. If he floats it down to cannon into the two reds just above the black, he's got to make sure he didn't hit the right hand side of them. Mm. Always looked like it could go astray playing a kiss, and I think it has. 
That could be end of break. His body language tells me it is. Foot. Aaron Wills, third. No. He knew. Took a chance there, really, but the green was on the pocket if he got the red. Look, look how unfortunate the red came just by the white for Ron. He's a good chance here now. Only to try and get down the bottom half of the table as soon as possible. One. Not as you wanted. Mm, played out nicely. Four. Mm, dead straight. Looking for a gap there. Why has he got a plant down? Eleven. Plant it is. Twelve. Eighty. Oh, he's pleased he's uh, got this chance. He's uh, hardly potted anything in the last two frames. Kevin Whistling played very well, but then he's uh, made a mistake. 26. And he's seven. He's having a good look at the reds. They look simple, but they're not. You get these awkward. For five reds, is it? Yeah. He's just looking at one now that's uh, to the left of the pink. That looked like the easiest one to get on, as long as it didn't. Well, I don't know if the pink gets back on his spot now. Not sure. Yeah, he's okay. Thirty three. Just get past it. Thirty four. He's a tough match player, Sullivan, you know, he's he's not at his best today and he's just sitting out there for a long time, but at the end of it all he'll never give up. Yeah. Forty one. Two. 
May have looked a little reckless that shot that Karen Wilson played into the middle pocket, but uh, the only red he thought he could leave on is the one he played, and of course he caught the jaw so badly it ended up leaving Ronnie a dead straight pot, which of course he potted, and then this Fifth. has come from this break. So he's virtually going to need all the three reds to make the frame safe and go 5 4 in front to it with one up with two to play. Considering he only scored one point in the two previous frames, it has been a very good break. Fifty-seven. I think Brown, obviously the green's in the way of the last red, but I think Brown's in the way as well, so he'd probably like to get onto the brown or green from this last red. Decides to play for the blue. Then he plays the red pots is in the middle. So he's just tried to get onto the brown or green. Now the frame's over. Just had a quick glance at the scoreboard. He needs to pot this red though, so otherwise Karen will come back to the table. So make sure of the red. 67. Very good. Very, very good. Can't make a century this time. He's already made two in the match. Can only make 72. 99 this time. 74. This will please Ronnie no end because, uh, like I say, he hadn't had a good run of the ball in the previous two frames. 77. Couldn't get a century, but they won't worry Roddy O'Sullivan, but he's done, he's kept a lead, this time it's by one. He's one up with two to play, he leads 5-4. Thank you. It's one of the few times in this match so far the break off has not left a pot on.
no value at all in taking the pot on. If it does, it's very, very dangerous. Gonna have to screw and get the half ball kiss off the red to go up for blue or green. That's why it's just played a containing safety. Left a couple of tempters for Ronnie. What a key battle this is going to be, this safety battle now. Who's going to win it? If Ronnie wins it, got a chance to win frame and match. If Khan wins it, got a chance to level. Oh, does Ronnie feel he can get through the gap of these two reds to put the one nearest the pocket? Looks tight, doesn't it? He feels it does pot. If you put any sort of side on here, you're going to miss it. I've got a much margin of error there. Oh, beautiful third. What floated it in. Straight through the gap. Beautiful picture of that uh, shot there with the spin on it. Oh, dear, dear. It's the Nisha shot. Well, so the one what? did. Part of the red, there's a great shot. Oh, shaking his head now. Well, it's Ronnie's turn to be a little fortunate. There's nothing easy here. Well, he's been very fortunate not to have left a red. But that won't harm Karen's confidence. Now he's seen Ronnie miss a relatively straightforward black. Didn't have to do too much with the cue ball. <laughs> Safety for next in this match. Both players have found that top cushion with the regularity. This is half a chance. Ronnie caught that far too thin. Pink and black out of commission, really. But we know how good a long potter Karen Wilson is. You could see the whites of his eyes there, couldn't you? She's <laughs> playing that shot. Mm. Once again, a little fortunate. Came across that slightly, but very lucky not to have gone it off. Nothing on much. Is there? There's a red in the centre pocket, but the black's not on its spot. I'm not quite sure if it'd be enough if you place that anyway into the bottom left corner. Man, he's having a go. Oops. 
I can't believe he played that shot. <laughs> I don't think he should have taken it on. It's OK, he's left a pot on, Terry, but <laughs> what a result is that? If he kisses any other red, he's left the white at this end of the table. Tension. It's, it's, all it's tough, though. It, it, it's close on the cushion and a nasty cut into the left corner. It's OK, and then he's got another chance now with a long pot. Oh, he's gone thin again. Mm, that's twice now he's uh, cut the long part thin. Quite a long way off, especially for him. Yes, it's just a case of who pots the next red, isn't it? Now the black's in play. OK, this red looks on nice and easy in the middle, but it's not easy to get position. That's why he's taking an alternative on in the middle of the three, I think, and just to the right of the black spot. He'll be on the black if it goes in. But there's some tension in the arm now. Both players struggling. Both players have seen the winning line. And that hasn't been an easy shot there, but they're taking it on. They're both pushing the boat out, as we say. Two inches taller. Mind you, this is a, we know how good he is with the rest, but this is a tester. If he's going to try and screw back for blue or black off this, he's got to hit this sweet. He's going to be screwing back past where the white is now. Oh my word. How can he hit that too well? <laughs> One. This smile tells the story. And by the way, it never touched the sides. He smiles all the time. If something goes wrong, I just tell you off like no, no, he's a... <laughs> what a screw back that was with the rest. No good, but uh, <laughs> he was playing for a blue or black, I think. Is that black a good ball. look at the black, Terry? I know, I know he didn't want to be playing the black, really, but if it's on, it's worth the risk. He feels he's going to take it on. This is a possible frame winner, possible match loser. Very good. Deserves whatever he gets off this now, he deserves it. And it might not be anything. That was so good. So unlucky not to have left an Eight. easier pot than this. See three better pots under pressure than those last three has played. The red with the rest, incredible shot. The black in the middle, fraught with danger. That to get top side of the blue could be a frame winner. Oh, what a kick! Goodness me. He's played for the red in the right hand corner. Oh, that's unlucky. Well, it's okay, he's using the rest, no problem. 40. Mind you, if he puts all his eggs in one basket and plays with the black, it better go in. That's probably the right shot to play. Just stun across one cushion. 
Why is he playing the deep screw? It looks like he's playing the deep screw. Needless to say, never touched the sides. <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? Isn't it? Honestly, okay. remarkable with the rest. Another one right in the middle of the pocket. Once. He hasn't got a full pocket to play for if he decides to play the one down the cushion with the rest. The one in the middle pocket is he's going to be coming perilously close to the right hand side cushion. So he's not going to be faced with an easy black or if he decides to go up and down blue. He's playing it in the corner. And that's there. Well played. That's a one. And now a great chance to win the frame. He's worked so hard in this break so far. Twenty six. Well, we could be going for decider here because the next five or six reds, apart from the pressure, that could obviously make him miss one. If this was earlier in the match, you'd have to say he would make another 40 points from here. Fast pressure on it now. Already played two deciders. The Shanghai Masters. Karen led 5 1 and lost 6 5. He lost 10 9 to 42. Ronnie in the form of the Champion of Champions. Could be the third decider. 43. In quick succession. with the English left on this red. Played to finish straight on it. Needs to go top side. 51. Just about got there. Six. Fifty five in front. Two heads, two colours. That's all he needs. Fifty seven. I think on what reflection of what we've seen, the match deserves to go 5 all. <laughs> totally the wrong angle on this black. I don't know whether he's going to risk playing two cushions into them. No, he's played for one in the middle. I don't think he's played this very well at all. He may not even be able to pot the red. 64. That is a very poor shot from Karen. End of break. Play for the red in the middle, the left hand of the three.
Well, the first half of that break was played to perfection. And Wilson, 64. Good pot after good pot. The fact that two reds are relatively safe makes him strong favourite to win the frame, but it's by no means over. Ronnie looks like he's taking this on. Hmm, all of a sudden the long game's gone missing. Knew that Karen would be reluctant to bring the red off the cushion there, but try to force him into making him play that red in Bork. So he'll be just pushing this on the side cushion. Might even play the pot. Well, he played the push out on the side cushion and it rolled off. You saw his body language there. He, he's played that half ball just to push it up on the middle of the right hand side cushion. Now then, if this red goes in, it can get right back into this frame. Not happening now. Definitely a decider now. Eight. This excitement you get in the decider, which is great, isn't it? Just, uh, the crowd will enjoy it. Don't matter who their uh, open wins. Nine. Sixty. A lot of shots missed in this uh, in this frame by both 70. players, but um, he's eighty in front now. Twenty-one. What, what's the odds, uh, Willie, of them both going out if it's a decider? Well, it's going to be a decider. A bigger certainty than me growing hair. <laughs> Two five. Two six. Bert. 32. 32, I'm afraid. Darren Ross. Well, he wasn't really interested there. Both players gone off now, ready for the decider. Everybody's looking forward to it. <laughs>
Crawley's not been too great with the break, has he? Let's see how this goes. But this is the shootout then, the winner through to tomorrow's final. Absolutely a shootout, winner takes all. The customary handshake, and Ronnie, uh, as most of the both players in this match have left a, a long red on. I don't think there's been above two frames out of the ten we've played so far, whereas somebody's not had a, a possible long pot on. We know that Karen's going to take it on, but can he get round the back of the black, or will he go all out to get on the black? He's looking at the thin safety shot. Any problem with that, you're going to leave running the same long pot that you're refusing. Unless you can cover it. Now has he covered it? Well, if this is straight, Ronnie won't take it on. Well, look at that, it is virtually straight. If he thinks he can pinch a bit and get back past the blue spot, he'll take the pot on without question. That was always the problem, wasn't it? And this is a, nothing to do with the cue ball here, just roll it in, you're bound to be on the black. So first chance, Wilson. goes to Kynan Wilson. Very early yet in this frame. Mm, not so good there. You've got to run into the reds with that uh, the pack of reds, Eight. I think. I don't think you can, go, you can run through for the black. He's just about as awkward as it could be. Got to keep so still on these. He's going to be, have to probably rely a little bit on luck. He's trying to get the gap. There's a gap between those reds to try and go up for blue or bought colour. This could go wrong. Didn't get the gap. Nine. Yeah, just so playing that with top spin and run through the reds would have been a. A difficult shot to do, but uh, anyway, it's uh, they both got to make a decision every time we come to the table. That's one of the beauties of the game Bravo. of snooker. Aaron Wilson, nine. Oh, you're too thick. Mm. Now then. Those shots are never easy that Ron was taking on a very thin cut. But in the decider, they're even worse. So second chance goes to Kyron Wilson. Struggling a bit there. It's always awkward when you, you've got uh, balls and you've got to lift your bridge up. It's not as stable as it normally is. Here we come. 
Oops, took a show up. Mm. Yeah, well done. One. <coughs> Hit that very low on the cue ball and just uh, a slow cue action to just keep the uh, white on the line he tried. Sometimes they run off a little bit on this table, they have been. Eight. Now then, well, what's going to happen here? Well, he's played that poorly again. He wanted to be straight on this red. Maybe the one straight up into the yellow pocket might be better than the one he's taking. He's going to leave himself a difficult black if he plays the black. Now he's played for bought colour. Nine. He's played that nicely. Got the right angle on the blue. He must be buzzing inside now because he knows this is a great chance to get to another major final and beat one of the best players in the world. He's one thing for sure, his favourite at this moment in time to do just that. This time he's got straight on it, which he's wanted to do. This red up turns, opens the red next to it into the opposite corner. So, Karen, you won't get a better chance than this. And beat No Sullivan in the semi final of a major. These balls are now absolutely inch perfect for a frame winning clearance. Been very impressed with Karen Wilson today. I've not had the pleasure of commentating him Fit. too much in the last year, but he's done everything right. Just didn't let his head drop when things were going bad. Scored heavily when he was he in. Won. And Sullivan's had two centuries and 80, and it's still not phased him in any way. Ronnie now knows that in the Coral Series, he might struggle to make the top eight. Should Karen go on to win this match? Looking good. It's eight. Thirteen up. Got a slight angle on the blue. Forty-four. Forty-five. Fifty-four, the break and the difference, and uh, good chance here to beat one of the best players in the world, if not the best player. In an important tournament. But he can't make a mistake. Not yet. 52.
53. Now can he judge the pace right, drop this blue in and just finish on the red? Right at the back of that little cluster of five. If he gets on that red, he's framing much over. Mm, a little bit hard. <coughs> but in fact, he's 67 in front with 67 on. They'd like to have potted one more red. 58. It's his decision if he goes for that red or not. Off the cushion is very difficult. Oh, <laughs> absolutely outstanding. 59. Still got a little bit to do. Karen oh. Wilson, 59, frame him up. Thank you. Oh, he's uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan, fair play. He's disappointed he's lost, but uh, it's a wonderful win for Kyden Wilson, one of the young, very good players on the circuit. And he uh, beat Ronnie O'Sullivan by six frames to five. Yeah, congratulations to Kyron Wilson. He has been a real star this week, hasn't he? It started uh, with a 147 maximum break. It will end uh, with the first ever Welsh Open final appearance. And he has beaten arguably uh, the greatest of all time, Ronnie O'Sullivan, who won't get the chance now to equal John Higgins' Welsh Open record. The Rocket, well, not so much misfiring, is not really having an opportunity there in the final frame decider. It is Wilson who's the semi-final winner to face either Sean Murphy or Yang Bing Tao tomorrow night. Credit to him, guys. I mean, Dominic, Darren, brilliant stuff. Yeah, a fantastic deciding frame from Kyron. He got in twice and it only made nine the first opportunity, but Ronnie went for a long red, missed it by a fraction, but didn't get away with it, left Kyron a secondary opportunity, took it with both hands and, and 59 break, won the match. I just can't fault him. You know, I said at the start, you know, you know, he's enjoying the moment out there now and, and, and why not? You know, the last twice he's lost to Ronnie in a deciding frame. This time it's gone his way and uh, he well deserves his win and his place in this year's Welsh final. I mean, uh, unbelievable. But I have said all afternoon, he, he just looked very, very controlled within himself, you know. First cup, take the first cup of frames. Uh, Kyron, through to your first ever Welsh Open final. <sighs> Okay. <sighs> yes. <laughs> How are you feeling? You've beaten one of the best, if not the best. Yeah, it's, it's obviously, you know, lovely to do that. I said to you guys before, you know, when you feel like you're, you're competing with the best and you're beating the best, it gives you confidence in believing in yourself and sort of backing what you do as a player. And, um, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't making rubbish up yesterday. You know, I was literally playing the table. It was fantastic. Um, crowd were amazing and you know what a setup delighted to be in the final were you playing the table today could you just block out the fact it was Ronnie yeah a little bit um to begin with it's more about sort of adapting to the one table setup more than your opponent um so I was a bit nervous due to that you know I'm not going to lie I was nervous <laughs> first couple of frames but the 90 break I think I made in frame three I settled down. It was a new cloth break. as well. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it was a new cloth. So. Um, and how did that play? Because it looked very slow to me, that table. Uh, yeah, it, it, it wasn't too bad. It was just throwing a lot with side. So if you were putting unintentional side on when you think uh, you're hitting right. middle, I think Ronnie struggled a little bit tonight as well with it. So, um, yeah, we, bo we both adapted and eventually we, we played good snooker. Yes. You enjoyed the match, or didn't it? you? Got to, from the word go, all right, the first couple of frames, we said it was a little bit nervy, but after that and the pair of you settled down, you was always smiling in your chair, even when little rubs went against you. It was a little right, so you could tell you was enjoying it out there. Yeah, and that's that's one of the main things that I'm trying to do. You know, I, I'm not trying to enjoy snooker. I love the game. I've played it since I was like three years old. So, for me, it's just about you know the crowd pay good money. I don't want to see miserable people all the time. So I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to have a laugh at the same time. I'm trying to get them their money's worth and I have a bit of fun. I can see that in you actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm honestly I'm I'm really relaxed. I'm just trying to enjoy it all and um, yeah, just having a bit of fun with the crowd when I can. Is that just to help you take the pressure off yourself? Yeah, and um, you know I, I seen it with Stuart Bingham in the Masters. 
you know, he's given it yeah. all that. And yeah. um, he had the crowd on his side and I think it lifted him. And, you know, I'm like that off the table. So I'm trying to bring yeah. that to the table. And if you, could, you can sort of see here on the monitor we've got in the studio, the sort of sequence at the break, you're 3-1 down. So I don't know. I mean, we saw you come up for a bit of a, a practice. So what, what are you thinking there? How much do you have to dig deep to get that belief that you can come back? Yeah, I, I knew that. Um, I think I was unlucky at 2-1. I've, I've gone into the pack off the black and landed on nothing. And Ronnie potted a fantastic long red and made a frame winning break. So I felt to myself, you know, I haven't done too much wrong there. And I felt good in my game. So it was just about sort of keeping ticking over on the practice table and just believing that it's going to come out, you know, on, yeah. on the match table. Because you weren't in front at all until that uh, final frame. I think yeah. that's actually why and people <laughs> enjoy watching me, because they just, they just never know when I'm beat and never know what's going to happen. And we really. threw the, this at you yesterday as well. The last two matches with Ronnie, you'd lost the final frame deciders, so it's nice to obviously uh, get that uh, yeah. monkey off the back. Yeah, oh, without doubt, you know, he's, he's caused me a lot of pain just lately, <laughs> so it's nice to get one of back. Of course, everyone a lot of pain. Yeah. Can I ask, are you going to bring any of your, your family down with you Yeah, the with, final? Yeah, without doubt. I'd just like to say um, very happy birthday to my son, Finley. He's five oh, today, and lovely. a very happy birthday to my mum. Sonia. Sonia, and hopefully they're all going to come down and it's have a bit of fun tomorrow. Sonia, no? She used to do waistcoats, didn't she, for some of the boys yeah. at the South West Snoopy? Yeah, she's made me a few, um, few naughty ones. Oh, has she really? <laughs> Good heavens. Trust you, trust you to have that knowledge, Dominic. Well, there you um, go. That's what I'm yeah, saying. So happy, happy birthday to your son for today. I mean, Thank what does it mean to you and the family? Oh, it means everything because they've, they've literally sacrificed their lives to get me to where I am today. My mum and dad have remortgaged the house oh, really? countless times. My brother's given up what he was doing as a personal trainer to be with me. My wife, you know, takes my demons when I'm not in a good place. And um, okay. my whole family take it. So um, it's nice to give them something well, back. Story. So much yeah. time away from the family as well on, on yeah. the circuit. Um, you've won three ranking titles in your career. Not, none this season, though. Um, what would it mean to you to get one tomorrow? Yeah, it, w it would be lovely. Um, if I'm honest, you know, I'm, I'm just relaxed about it all. If I lose, I've had a great week. It's been an amazing tournament for me, an amazing two weeks, really. Um, you know, the 147, a good run last week, and obviously in the final here, I'm loving the support I'm getting. You know, it was nice to actually feel like the support was like 50-50 out there today. It's not normally like that when you play Ronnie, so I really appreciate <laughs> but it. But you, you, you know yourself. You know yourself. I know what you're saying. You're going you're to go out tomorrow and you're going to enjoy it. But you now know this is a real, real big opportunity for you to get your, your fourth title and, and to win your in Wales. And with the way you're playing and how good you are in the place you're at, obviously off the table, this is a real, real big opportunity for you to get your, your fourth title and, and to win your in Wales. And... With the way you're playing and how good you are in the place you're... Yeah, I've, I've obviously put myself in a great position. Um, you know, it's going to be a great final, whoever comes through in the semis, and obviously I'm just going to enjoy the occasion. Well, I'm not sure if you're going to watch tonight's match, but um, relax, enjoy the evening, and look forward to your, your place in the final tomorrow. Thank you very Many much. Many congratulations, Cheers, uh, Kyron. You.